Hello! What's up? I hope this is recording. Hey everybody, it's Jerry from The Last Record Store doing a supplemental Last Record Store video podcast. Uh, Josh will be back later this week with our regular podcast, but this one is all about Black Effin' Friday, uh, which is in a few days from now, or today, or whenever you're watching this. Um, it's There is oodles and oodles of stuff you can only get at independent record stores. We're the only store in Sonoma County with most of these items, uh, and they go fast. We open at 10 a.m. this Friday, the 20-whatever-day Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so you're all full of turkey and wine and, you know, yelling at your brother-in-law or whatever it is you do and uh, come in and buy some records. Uh, get all your holiday shopping done. We'll talk about that later. Um, I'm going to sample, show you some of the limited releases. These go fast. People line up before we open. We open at 10 a.m. so uh, I'll kind of go over it. But if you can, get her early Friday. It'll be an all day long party. We have a store-wide sale on everything. Come and check that out too. Um, but yeah, let's look at some of this vinyl. I'll do some of these boxes first. Um, some 7-inch box sets. Uh, the Beatles. Uh, this is uh, four 7-inch singles. Uh, house in this beautiful box. Comes with a poster and a little Apple Records 45 adapter and all sorts of stuff. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put a link down here to the Record Store Day site where you can look at all these exclusive releases. You can't get this crap at the box stores, so screw them. Uh, yeah, Beatles. We don't have tons of these. These are going to go fast, but uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Pink Floyd 7-inch box set. The Wall Singles Collection. Uh, another super limited thing. Uh, three records, a poster, all sorts of goodies for the Floyd fans. Uh, another 7-inch box set. The Doors, L.A. Woman, uh, limited to 4,000. We have low numbers. This one's number 447. We might have some that are lower. That's that's for all you collector nerds out there. Uh, we got the Doors one, and then this one is I'm kind of excited about the Bob Dylan Mono Singles seven inch box set. Uh, these are all no individually numbered. They all did you know only between one and three thousand of each of these, and they all go super fast. But uh, so there's some uh, some of the seven inch boxes. I'm just gonna file them right here. Uh, what else we got coming? Um, I got a few of these, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic uh, on vinyl, hasn't been on vinyl in forever, this is the 20th anniversary vinyl edition, we got a few of those, um, oh my god, Fish Fans, we got a couple things, I don't, these have either never been on vinyl or not forever, this, I, th I just called this Fish, but some somebody schooled me and told me this is called the White Tape, or something like that, Fish, it's, or Grey Tape, this album. Uh, we have this on vinyl, very limited quantity of these. Same thing with this Fish album, Party Time, with uh, cool artwork on that cover. I like that. Um, there's a Tom Petty record, Kiss My Amps Live, vinyl only, only available at independent record stores. Look at this, Misfits record. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, The Devil's Reign. And that shit is 3D or something like that. Um, this looks really cool too. John Lennon uh, Imagine 40th Anniversary box set. Uh, two records. It's got the original record and then an extra LP with uh, like demos from the Imagine sessions and stuff. It's a white vinyl. I think I only got two of these, so these are probably not going to last long. But uh, yeah, uh, New Black Keys 12 inch. It's a two song 12 inch. Both songs are in the same side in a different groove. That's right. You got to find the right groove to find the song you want to listen to. You know, like that uh, Monty Python record or whatever. Danger Mouse produced it. It's from the new Black Keys album coming out pretty soon. But uh, uh, we got we got about ten of these. And this is another one I think is going to go fast. But uh, it's really really cool thing. Um, here is uh, Chris Cornell's new album, Songbook. Only uh, vinyls only available. Uh, independent record stores on Black Friday. Got a few of these. It's a double LP set. He's playing. Soundgarden and Audio Slave and solo songs. Um, oh my god, Deadheads. Live Europe 72, Volume 2, uh, four record box set. Uh, there's stuff on here that's not on the CD. There's extra music. 180 gram high quality vinyl, pressed at RTI. 
Um, those are going to go pretty fast too. Uh, there's a Warren Haynes band 12-inch uh, uh, single. There's a, an Iron and Wine. It's a full live show. It's a whole live set from Morning Becomes Eclectic. I think it's uh, 12 songs or so. And it comes, I don't know if you can see that in there, it comes with a full CD of the whole album too. That's a cool one. Uh, some more box sets. The Janis Joplin box set. Her four studio records with under Janice and the Big Brother uh, banners. Uh, another high quality vinyl limited edition doodly do thing. Uh, this one, these are going to go pretty fast too. Kings of Leon. Those masters of integrity. Uh, it's their first three records, all double LP sets, and then a da, 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 an album of uh, unreleased stuff and outtakes. Big, thick, heavy. This thing weighs like more than a baby box set. Um, other really hot stuff. Oh, this Sid Barrett thing. This is really cool. It's in a steel tin. You can hear it. Uh, it's a 7-inch uh, box. 7-inch and a book of photos by Mick Rock. Cool thing for the Sid Barrett fans. Um, what else we got down here? There's a Pete Townsend 10-inch. The Quadrophenia demos. Demos from the writing process of that esteemed concept record. Uh, Soundgarden, a live thing. Uh, this is recorded live. Their rehearsal tapes from a tour they did a few years ago. Um, Wilco, these I only have a few of, so these probably won't last very long, but Wilco, ten, a brand new tenor, is called Speak Into the Rose. Uh, on red vinyl. Because when it's colored, it's better. Um, okay. Colored vinyl is the way to go. Uh, it's a Nick Lowe 10 inch. Look at that. It's a lady holding a puppy called uh, Go Away Hound Dog. What else? There's this incredible Beastie Boys DVD slash Blu ray slash hardcover book set uh, that's really, really beautiful looking. It's uh, And it's got the making of that crazy video they did uh, earlier this year Fight for Your Right Revisited. Uh, I got a few of these. It's a Miles Davis reproduction 10 inch on, I'm going to say blue vinyl, I heard. I haven't actually seen one of these open yet, but I read it's blue vinyl. Those are super limited. Uh, this is the one I'm pretty excited about. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, Nirvana, never mind the singles box set. These are 10 inches. Four 10 inch singles uh, with lots of unreleased tracks and B-sides. Uh, on the other sides of those uh, for the four singles from uh, Nevermind. And this is super cool. Uh, these are all numbered as well. It's another one. During Record Store Day, we had a, some Nirvana. We had a Nirvana thing, and it didn't last till noon. So if you're into the Nirvana, get here early. Um, tons of other stuff, too. I don't even have time to go through all this stuff. Tons of seven inches. They got Ryan Adams. We got Yardbirds. We got Fear. Uh, Sort of pin back. There's this cool looking pin back 7 inch. So much stuff. Uh, I'd show you more, but I'm running out of time. Oh, look, I'm even seeing more stuff here. Uh, anyway, come in uh, and shop with us on Black Friday. This, uh, if you're a collector or you know a collector you need to get a gift for, Friday is the day to do it. It's going to be a huge day. We have a huge sale. And uh, yeah, thanks for supporting the last record store. And uh, Josh and I will be back with our regular podcast uh, shortly. And uh, you guys rule. Uh, happy early holidays and Thanksgiving and all that. We sure appreciate you guys. And That's it. I'm going to shut up now. Come in and check out these records. <laughs>